gone back 10 years ago and said, hey, are electric cars going to take off or not? You'd probably have to say no, they aren't. They haven't done it for decades. But then along comes Tesla, Elon Musk and Tesla, proves it can be done, and now the entire industry is going electric. I mean, if you watch the Super Bowl, it's like all the ads are like electric vehicles now, right? That is done. That decision has been made. It's happening. And so what's happening, why did it happen? Well, the costs of batteries came down, just like all these technologies. The costs of batteries, by the way, um, are expected to go, continue to go down as you scale through this decade here. And so you're starting to watch the same ramping up is going on, which is the global inventory. This is, again, to 2019, this slide. But uh, the latest numbers are now it's about 10 million, new now 10 million globally new cars of electric are coming. Some places like Norway are at 90% of new cars are now electric in Norway, among other places. This is happening. So these are kind of tipped. Uh, oh, and then, by the way, so this is a credible projection of up till 2040, how you're going to see the growth of electric battery cars. Hybrids are in between using both technologies and ultimately throttling back internal combustion. And if you don't believe this, talk to, you know, the CEO of, of uh, General Motors or, 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 or Dambler Benz or whatever. They're all, they're doing it now. So it's a really interesting thing. Now, autonomous driving. I know one of my colleagues here is from Waymo. This one is a critical uncertainty about whether this will play out. Because if this happens and all cars or most cars go kind of uh, autonomous, then you could restructure cities in many ways. You could claim back all the parking space. You wouldn't need individual cars. You could share the cars. Everything, the cars could just never stop. They'd just keep picking people up. And you know, it's a really blows your mind on how you could reshape cities. That one, though, it's not clear whether it's going to be this decade or next decade. I think it's going to go. And I think we're going to see it. But I hedged it. I said it at 60. I didn't say it's going off, rolling off the chart here. Um, but what's going to basically keep an eye on it is the trucking industry, because that would be the first to go. And one of the reasons all this supply chain problems right now, we can't get anyone to drive trucks right now. Nobody wants to drive a truck. Who wants to drive a truck? You don't, you don't see your spouse. You're, you, know, you never miss the kids' soccer games. I mean, all the boomers are retiring. There's no millennials. Nobody's taking those jobs. They're probably going to basically be autonomous. And they're probably going to start on the freeways. And ultimately, uh, anyhow, this is coming. And then once that happens, it'll drive the whole thing. So anyhow, this is another credible thing. 